All right. Hello. I was a little bit inspired to talk about Go today. Um, those of you who know me know that I am a avid C programmer. I love programming in C. It's my favorite language. I program a lot in C++. I work in Unreal Engine, Unity, Godot even. But I also write my own game engine. And I've written my own game engine in C. And so when I learned that Ken Thompson participated in... Um, making Go, I decided to check it out. I thought it was just yet another, you know, Java language, and I couldn't be further from the truth. Um, Go is a systems language, uh, just as C is. Um, it has built-in uh, assembly uh, support, and uh, you can work with pointers, memory addresses, and you can really mess stuff up if you really want to. Um, it's a little bit more difficult than, say, C or C++ to do so, but it is definitely possible. And I, I specifically wanted to talk about Go for for games. Um, I have rewritten my C engine in Go. And for those of you who know C, Go is basically modernized C is the easiest way to explain it. It has the same, it, it's kind of a reflection of it, except with a garbage collector and some uh, and with a huge focus on threads, which is what you want in modern game engines. Um, you, may, you may think that, uh, you know, a garbage collector is not the greatest idea for a language that you're going to make, make in a game engine for, but if you look at Unity or if you look at Unreal, they are highly garbage collected languages. They, they've written garbage collectors and they work and operate off of garbage collection in a less secure way. So garbage collectors have come a long way since the 90s or the 70s even. So um, you, you can't just point at that and say that it's no good. I'm getting the same performance. Now, I've, re I've ran my engine in C, and I've ran it in Go. And this is an identical engine between C and Go. The main problem that you have with performance analysis between languages is that you focus on one little task, and that tiny little task you... You extrapolate to say this is the performance of the language and when in actuality it doesn't matter that one little performance task is useless uh, you want to do the performance across the entire system and that's a very difficult task to do for an actual test um, I did a rudimentary performance check here and I'm getting the same exact frame rate in Go as I was in C now I'm using Vulkan and SDL and those are C underneath but I'm getting the same exact frame rate, but better. I'm getting better performance because I was. It was easier for me to utilize threads for the game engine. I'm on this particular piece of code because I wanted to show you that you can do pointer arithmetic and uh, regular copy mem copies into um, addresses using Go, and uh, you'll you'll see in the docs and the FAQ that Go does not support pointer arithmetic but it does given enough casts um, so you see here I have this underlying pointer to this data here and then I add it to this arbitrary number this is this is the number um, so I add these two together and turn it into an unsafe pointer and then that's the address that I mem copy to and I'm doing some other interesting things here um, I, I dug around in the code a little bit and in the spec and as far as I can tell um, interfaces the the second set of eight bytes is the pointer to the object in question. So I have this little helper function to do just that, where it will create a pointer out of the interface. It will do pointer arithmetic of, um, this is a hard-coded eight. It shouldn't be hard-coded. It should be based on um, the, the system, but this is 64 bits, so we're going to do eight. And then we cast that to an unsafe pointer and then cast all that back out and um, that's going to give me the underlying pointer to the actual object that the interface points to. And that's where our base is here. So I'm just copying to this address. This is for Vulkan. This is an address inside of the GPU. I'm copying to this address using the data pointed to by this interface. And I'm just... I have a little helper function here. I technically could do size of and, and do magic there, but I have a little helper function to give me the size of uh, this arbitrary type that um, that we're passing in for this uniform. And it's just going to copy that data straight to the GPU. 
And um, you'll also see that I, I, I'm using a mem copy here. The Vulcan comes with a mem copy, but I kind of um, did my own, slightly different. Um, but it's using the built-in copy function for Go. And then we're just taking, um, we're converting the pointers into slices of a specific size that's being passed in and just copying over. I'm, I'm assuming that both, which are copying to, is at least the size um, here. So this, this of course, you is why it says unsafe. I could be um, doing a buffer overrun or something like that, but uh, that's why I'm I'm very diligent in this portion portion of the code. So I'm I'm quite confident um, that it's not going to do any kind of buffer overrun. There's other checks around for that. Um, but if I just called this function willy nilly and just passed in some arbitrary thing, I could do a buffer overrun with that. So Go is very much a systems programming language, and I'm I'm kind of wishing that more people would program their uh, games in Go. It's it's a uh, it's nice to have the garbage collector. The way they treat interfaces is pretty nice, um, and it's kind of like C the way that I really wanted in C. I love C the way it is, uh, but it, it would be nice to have some conveniences like being able to, um, instead of passing the object in as the first argument all the time, you know, have it kind of uh, be, be uh, here, let's just show you here. Um, instead of passing fec3 left-hand side and fec3 right-hand side in here, I can just do, you know, I can, this is like the this, I don't know. It's nice to do a dot operator dot multiply by three on an object than it is to pass it in all the time. It's a little, uh, it's a borrowed element from object oriented programming, but I think it was a good borrowed element. Um, but there's a lot of things I like about uh, Go. There's a few things that annoy me, um, but in general, it's pretty nice. The threading capabilities is really nice. And now this is a, this is a note I wanted to put on performance. Now, when it comes to performance, yes. Raw C is going to be faster. It's going to edge out on Go. It's going to edge out on uh, other languages. Like if you're talking about raw C and you perfectly hand code everything, it's going to edge out C++. It's going to edge out everything else. Um, and same thing for assembly. Assembly will edge out everything if it's perfectly coded. The problem is we're not perfect at coding. We're lazy and we um, sometimes have to do, we set up something in one way and then we have to insert something and it ruins a whole like beautiful system and you lose some performance there with all the jiggering that you're doing there and messing around with stuff. So systems as a whole often are not at the peak performance of the language. So sometimes you're going to get better performance in C++ than you are going to hand code in C and you're going to get better performance in Go than you do in C++ or C um, for things like threading and, and all that sort of stuff unless you perfectly meticulously hand code and architect everything perfectly. Because your mindset is in the C++ realm, and you may make mistakes here and there, and those add up, and they make you design things in weird ways. So when you have a nice flat language like Go that's that's similar to C, um, it's very similar to C, so you can take that preconditioned knowledge of C, and you can use it with these new things like, uh, you know, anonymous functions and, and those sorts of things like that, and the garbage collector will take care of any of those weird um, kind of crashes or, uh, from, from um, you know, leaking memory and all that sort of stuff. Of course, you can leak memory even with, you know, garbage collect language, but that's besides the point. It's just all those little things add up. And so when you have a language that simplifies all that and you're less likely to make those kinds of weird mistakes, you know, you get a performance boost out of that. And we see that, or I've seen that, because my C engine runs just as fast as this Go engine does, at least in frames per second performance. Um, on the same exact scene, same exact data, same exact everything. Just literally it's a clone of my C engine and Go. They're a clone of each other. You can look at a file system and they have the same exact layout, same exact file, same exact structures, everything. So um, I just, this is just a little thing to, a little video I want to put out to encourage people to write some languages, some, some games in Go. Um, I want Go to break out of the web realm. I know it's used in, you know, Kubernetes and all this other, like, web stuff because it has a built-in web server that's very easy to use. But I'd really like to see Go break out of that and just escape that that server, and I want it to escape the, the, the whole, like, back-end infrastructure paradigm. It's great for that, but it's so useful in every other 
field. Just anywhere C is useful, Go is going to be useful. And so I want to see it more in games. I want to see it more in desktop software. It's just a wonderful language um, that I want to see grow. Um, and uh, yeah, so you could do really cool stuff. Um, this direct access to memory is awesome. I need it for for porting from C to Go. I have to I have to be able to do the same exact weird um, a memory uh, pointer arithmetic, and it lets me do it even if it's a little weird. It still works. So yeah, this is a fully working Vulkan program. I have gra I have uh, I have uh, physics and all of that. So uh, maybe I can show it a little bit later. But this was just PSA on Go. Please try it out. Please give it a chance. I know it's not object-oriented, and there's some quirks that you have to get used to if you're used to object-oriented programming stuff. But if you're a C programmer, you're going to love it, I promise. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome. Just try it out. That's my PSA. Thanks for listening.